Hey guys, Mark for Ashley Pro Tech Dog Training and another convert that's in, LeBeau. Great Dane, I'm not sure if I posted on him, it's the second day in. LeBeau is a, a, a Great Dane, typical. Very, a little soft um, and, and very, uh, probably indicative of the breed. Very uh, able to be uh, manipulated with body language and, and uh, social pressure and, and voice tone, that kind of thing. I'm leaving a flat collar on the dog. I'm probably going to go into something else, but I don't need much because this dog is very compliable. It wants, it's biddable. Uh, a little bit slow in the, in the uptake because of the, the breed, but they're a good dog. And that's nothing wrong with LeBeau. Come here, LeBeau. Nothing that's not typical of who LeBeau is. Yep. So I've just got to get him in tune with me and the food, start our luring, and start teaching him no good and yes. And then I'm, my objective with him and sensing who the dog is as an individual is to build strength. So a lot of agility, a lot of rough love, teaching him to get patted you know, a little harder and, and, and treating him a little bit with, a, with an attitude of, of bringing the dog out. Um, in such a way that you're building strength in the animal because the dog is, like I said, soft, okay? It's not like that little pity, little hulk that's, you know, cocky and a little bit more uh, tough. This dog's very sensitive, a lot more sensitive than Dane, that's, na that's natural for a Dane. Come on, hop. Good boy, good. So we're gonna be doing agility and a lot of vo vo vocal, a lot of social pressure, that kind of thing. Would be good enough for this dog. I don't need to be yanking him around and using avoidance and, and uh, escape as much. You may have a little of that, but more to try to get in tune with his head, get him thinking, right? Which isn't as easy as you would think with this breed. Nope, come on, come on, come on. Nope, nope, nope. Good. Yep. Yeah. Good boy. Good. Good. LeBeau. Yep. Good boy. Good. All right. So we got to start teaching him the basics. Some explosions, breaking from one bull to the next to teach him the basics. Good. He doesn't want to go down yet. We have to get some tricky on that. LeBeau. Good boy. Good. LeBeau. Yep. Good boy. Good. So I'm going to try to make sure he understands dog's name preparatory to an explosion preparatory to a command, all that good stuff. The communication basics of our communication baseboard. Good. Yep. Good boy. Good. Yeah. Good boy, Lebo. Good boy. That's my boy. Good. And notice how much more voice tone, body language, that sort of thing I'm going to do and in putting into our communication because Lebo is very uh, uh, receptive to that, right? Receptive. Every dog is different. You got to find what works for each dog. And this isn't, nope, you little shit, my first rodeo. So that being the case, I sense and feel what's going to work with this dog pretty fast. Notice he's going to the ground. So I might put a small pinch on him just for slight, because I can't get the same thing out of this um, flat collar. He's just not receptive. He gets his opposition reflex. He wants to pull into it. And he needs a little bit of a, Good. But the goal is to basically build the dog in strength and get his brain thinking, right? Get him learning to learn. Yep. And once he takes off on that, we'll stretch that brain, right? Remember what I said before, I treat it like it's a muscle, right? We want to build that muscle as much as we can with this guy because he's a little bit slower in the uptake in that regards. A little more doofus, you know, a little bit. This is the nature of the dog. Every dog's a little different. So we've got to try to accent that, bring it out. And nothing in that regards is to say the dog's a bad dog. He's just a dog. Yep, he is who he is, right? Work the dog in front of you. Good. So the first thing you do is get out here and figure out where's the dog's head, who is he as an individual, right? And build your bond. That takes me two, three days to kind of get the dog's head. Quiet. My little bully over there, kid. kid grazing hell because he wants to come out. We're going to be heading down to um, Tractor Supply with a bully. 
giving a lot more outside. You know, generally, if you notice the way I'm working, I'm staying at home in my neutral lab until I get some things established and get a baseboard of communication going with the dog. Once I feel the dog is ready for it, I'm gonna start going out and getting in some environmental exposure. But right now, the dog no way could be ready for it because he doesn't understand. Trying to get him to understand he's got a step, right? He's, he understands he's supposed to be on the ball. Good boy, LeBeau. Good boy, LeBeau. Yep. Good boy, good, yeah, yeah, go, good boy. Good boy. Yeah, good boy. He doesn't understand stepping, and he might not, nope. Yes, notice how his brain floated. He's looking at, for the ground for food, that kind of thing. Even though I haven't dropped much at all, all the food's gone, and the animals come out here and grab it. Lebo, good boy, good. Lebo, yep, hop, yay, good boy, good boy, yeah, <laughs> good boy. That's my boy. Good. Come on, Lebo. Come on, Lebo. Hop, hop. Yeah, good boy, Lebo. So, vocabulary, voice tone is going to be really important to him. It gives him something to be able to have a, a base for it. Lebo. Good. Lebo. Yep. Good. So, little things like that. Dog's name. Lebo. Yep. Good. Yep. Yes. Good boy. Good. Yep. Yay, good boy, Lebo. Where he gets him to be able to learn how to how to win, right? He gets to get a, a pleasure because he's getting praise for when he succeeds, huh? Yeah. We're gonna go over to a friend of mine's today. He's got an agility course, and we're gonna work him on the agility course, start building some confidence, because that's what he needs. He needs um tables, to walk some walls, to do all kinds of things, and many things we can to build strength in the animal so he starts to feel. And also, be aware of how I praise him. Good boy, I'm grabbing this jowl, patting him a little hard. Good boy, good, that's my boy, good, yay! We're trying to build strength, right? And that takes in how you treat him is what's really going to make a difference in that respect with this kind of dog, with all dogs in, in general. But when I sense that the dog's a little soft like he is, I want to bring that out as much as I can to build strength in the animal because that confidence